When it comes to plants, we tend to think of them as purely feeding on water and nutrients in the soil. But we never think of plants that are truly carnivorous and actively target small living animals. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 most dangerous carnivorous plants that you might not believe. To survive, they've developed incredible trapping mechanisms. Snapping, quickly shutting closed around the animal, flytrapper, a glue-like sticky substance that immobilizes the prey. Pitfall, a rolled leaf with a deadly pool of digestive bacteria or enzymes which drowns the prey before the plant eats it. The bladder, a bladder sucks in prey by generating an internal vacuum or the lobster or eel trap. Inward pointing hairs that force the prey to move towards the digestive organ. Growing in thin and sparse soil of mostly heaths, bogs, swamps, and usually in temperate or tropical climates, carnivorous plants evolved to be deadly as to excess nutrients. These include macronutrients like protein, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and micronutrients like sulfur, calcium, and magnesium. It takes careful attention to successfully grow these species, which are not as easy to care for as you may think, due to being susceptible to pests like green flies and spider mites, or by just experiencing poor air circulation and low humidity. On the other hand, they do not need fertilizer nor natural water sources, or to be fed insects, because they can do that themselves. These 10 plants need to eat meat to live and will shock you with their strange, pretty looks, and even more so with their predatory survival methods. At number 10, the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is certainly the most well-known of the carnivorous plants. It's also the easiest to acquire, being inexpensive and small enough to likely fit in your store's floral department. Though true to its name, it uses a snapping trap to capture prey, after it lures them in with its sweet smell and fluorescent blue glow. And while its most common prey is indeed the fly, it'll also eat ants, beetles, arachnids, or even frogs. Once it snaps shut, it takes up to 10 days to consume the prey with red sap and open to reveal its exoskeleton. One caveat is you cannot feed it the same meat that humans eat. So give it a hamburger and it will probably rot and die. However, frogs, lizards, and small birds are fine if you're looking to feed it something more substantial than insects. Interestingly, the water wheel plant is like the aquatic version of this plant in both genetics and in its trapping mechanism. They can usually be found in the tropical wetlands of the North and South Carolinas. Coming in at number nine is the pitcher plant, or also known as the monkey cut. There are many varieties of pitcher plants, the tropical versions which are also called monkey cups, and they all have the same trapping mechanisms with a hybrid combination of the lobster pot and pitfall. They have slippery insides and bristles that ensure that prey can never escape. Plus, most have sugars laced with an alkaloid to intoxicate their prey. And the monkey cups get their name as they can hold up to a liter of water and monkeys in the wild have been known to drink from them and a thirsty human from time to time. Their many variations can be found all over the world. Number eight, the cobra lily, or the California pitcher plant. Although the cobra lily is a type of pitcher plant, it doesn't resemble the description of a monkey cup or even the obvious pitcher shape. Its appearance is markedly different. Instead, it looks like a cobra with its head ready to strike. Also, unlike other pitcher plants, it doesn't trap rainwater, but instead it fills up its pitcher with water it absorbs from its roots. However, it likewise eats a variety of insects from small to large and uses both lobster pot and pitfall trapping mechanisms. Its many false exits and transparent patches trap its prey, which when exhausted, succumbs to drowning in the liquid. And as their name suggests, they are mostly found in California, as well as Oregon. At number seven, we have the sundew, which uses both flytrapper and snapping tentacles as trapping mechanisms to capture and eat insects. Like its name suggests, 
it looks like the ends of the hairs on its leaves have these dewdrops that appear with the morning sun. And they are found in fens, bogs, and marshes all over the world. And number six, the bladder wart most obviously uses the bladder trap to capture and eat insects. Aquatic worms, water fleas, fish fry, mosquito larvae, and even young tadpoles. But how exactly does it work? This aquatic plant pumps up water from its bladders to create a vacuum suction. And when prey comes and touches the bristles on its flexible openings, the bladder opens to take in the prey along with the water. And these bladders can be found in freshwater streams, lakes, flooded areas, and wet soil all across Europe and Asia. And number five, we have the butterwort, or also known as the sticky leaf. Bright orchid-like flowers are the feature of this plant at first sight, but look closer though, and you'll see tiny hairs that secrete a mucus-like substance. The vivid colors of the flowers, whether white, pink, yellow, or purple, attract the prey. The flypaper traps it, and then the leaves secrete the digestive juices. It eats crickets, flies, spiders, caterpillars, slugs, gnats, springtails, and fruit flies and can be found all across the Americas and Eurasia. Number four, without a common name, the Bronchinia reducta is a plant belonging to the same family as pineapple, thick leaf succulents, and Spanish mosses. Its trapping mechanism is the pitfall. While aided by the reflection of ultraviolet light, a sweet scent, and its slippery, waxy surface, which prevents claw anchorage, Flies and other insects often slide down towards their doom to be digested by enzymes. With various habitats, which can be found in Guyana, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, Siberia, and North America. And now our top three. At number three, the flybush, or also known as the Gorgon's Dewstick. The flypaper mechanism is a trap this plant uses to capture wasps, bees, and other insects. The shiny resin on its tentacles attract the prey, only for them to become stuck. And the Gorgon's dew stick is pretty unique, as it can only be found in the Cape provinces of South Africa. Number two, one of our most unique looking plants, is the corkscrew plant. This carnivorous plant doesn't target insects. Instead, it eats microscopic organisms, including protozoans. And rather than attracting its prey above ground, it has specialized leaves growing from under the soil. It also has above ground leaves which photosynthesize light. It is most commonly found in semi-aquatic regions of South and Central America, such as Madagascar and Zambia. So, what is the most dangerous carnivorous plant in the world? Unlike most other carnivorous plants, the dewy pine grows in dry areas. The dewy looking secretions resemble honey to attract prey while the sticky leaves trap it in an enzyme, digesting the insides of the insect, only to leave behind a dry shell. If you are ever visiting Morocco, Spain, or Portugal, you're gonna wanna keep your eyes out for these plants. There are over 700 species of carnivorous plants, and we tend to think of plants as completely passive, absorbing nutrients from the soil and generating energy through photosynthesis. But when nutrients in the soil are scarce, what's a plant to do? While not dangerous to humans, they are deadly to small animals. Carnivorous plants display an ingenious method of adaptation to ensure their survival. And they most certainly make for interesting and challenging plant keeping too. This has been our top 10 most dangerous carnivorous plants that you won't believe. If you liked the video, make sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. You can find our other videos here. And as always, thanks for watching.